Hello, Nathan Tannenbaum with just some of the stories coming from the Las Vegas Review Journal in print and online. The first two confirmed cases of swine or H1N1 flu in Clark County have been confirmed with the Southern Nevada Health District. One involves an 11-year-old boy who has reportedly already recovered, the other a hospitalized 39-year-old woman. District epidemiologist Brian Labus says these are not the last of such cases we're going to hear about. You can get all the latest by our late night press deadline in Wednesday's printed review journal, while our special webpage, lvrj.com slash swine flu, is always updating. Once word filtered down from Carson City that lawmakers had given preliminary approval to an effective 4% pay cut to Nevada school teachers through mandatory days off and furloughs, well, it didn't take long for the teachers union to say, wait a minute, Lynn Warren from the Nevada State Teachers Association acknowledges the need for everybody to chip in as the economy stays sour. She said the union is waiting to hear more from the state legislature on how they plan to fund education. But she said she's not ruling out the filing of a lawsuit against the state or local school districts who they feel may not have adequately funded Nevada classrooms. Speaking of the economy, Clark County commissioners, whether it's just for show or not, have agreed to hold off on what was scheduled to be a 4% cost of living raise this year. It was almost one year ago, June of 2008, that a Metro police officer was injured in an officer-involved shooting. That policeman, Blake Penny, got the department's Purple Heart Award back in November. On Tuesday, four other officers who showed up on the scene and rendered assistance confronted the suspect in the case. Well, they were given Unit Meritorious Service Awards. We'll have their photos for you in print and online. In case you weren't aware, this Sunday is Mother's Day. I think I hear somebody going, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, since we are only at the middle of the week, that does give you procrastinators time to get something together. And you might start with Wednesday's taste section, where Heidi Napranella's cover stories about something yummy and good for you. Very good. And with the holiday weekend heading our way at warp speed, best get the RJ Communicators hooked up with Doug Elfman. He's got the Reader's Digest version of Vegas Land. Hey Doug, what's up? It's another big weekend in Las Vegas. We've got Dave Matthews, Jason Mraz, Star Trek, The Lion King Starts, Roller Disco Derby, Tom Jones, The San Gennaro Feast, and a lot more coming up on Vegas Land Video. Vegas Land, playing right after this on the Multimedia page. The Las Vegas Wranglers Tuesday were on the verge of moving on in the ECHL playoffs, beating the Stockton Thunder in Game 5 of their Best of 7 Series Monday night. Keep it right here for Game 6 coverage, including a photo slideshow. And now the weather. You know, even with those high clouds streaming across our otherwise mostly sunny sky, the warm-up continues. If anything, the National Weather Service says we'll be seeing fewer clouds, but maybe not quite as hot temperatures as we'd originally forecast, but it is still looking to be the warmest week of 2009 so far. Most every valley neighborhood's headed for the upper 90s, overnight lows in the lower 70s, heading into the weekend. As always, for breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com. <laughs>